What is going on, Clashers? You know what time it is. Stock Boy here. 120k might. We reached that a little while ago. It's not really new to me as much as it is. It is uh, as new to me as it is to you. <laughs> but um, pretty cool either way. We got to 120k might. Took a while. Uh, I didn't wasn't really focusing on might too much, but I was saving books. Um. So I wanted to show you guys real quick on uh, how to do that in case there's some of you out there that aren't sure. Uh, first and foremost, you have to have uh, all your altar slots open. You need to have legendary heroes. You need a balance of legendary heroes, which is going to be the majority. Elite heroes, which I only hold one, two, three, four, five. I can count. Yay. Five of those and six of these bad boys. Um at a time for specific reasons but you may want to change them out uh, a few of these guys out uh, but the reason I have five at least is so I can throw them into towers of course and then get the power-ups from them and then the rest are going to be legendary heroes uh, minimally a hundred so the quest log is where you get the books um, as a majority you could also buy them in the warehouse but I don't normally do that um, so you could buy those books there but I think they're overpriced as far as that goes so doing the quest log is your best bet as you'll see on the bottom there you'll have rewards and then sometimes the bonus reward is also books but anyway do your quest log save those books up um, and level up your main heroes through here be monsters and eventually when you go back and you have enough honor badges you can start bringing up your might now along with leveling up their levels that's not good enough guys you gotta get into the inscription and level their inscription you can see the lowest level inscription you're gonna see here is pretty much 60 except for those gelatinous champions um, and the reason for that is because I wanted to get the might boost from that as well so it's a two-step process one of it which involving leveling up the characters level and as you can see uh, I have minimal of level 100 on people um, some of them are a little bit higher and then um, leveling up their inscription of course talents help too uh, most of them most of what I have is at least a four or five I do still have a few three or fives in there but just scrolling real quickly through them you could see um, you don't see any one of fives there um, that's not by accident that's by design and also in all my green heroes and blue heroes uh, they all pretty much have enlightened so when I'm ready to level up, up in the towers and take care of your monsters very seriously uh, there'll be a powerhouse and the last tip in leveling your might aside from leveling up the bases of course um, would be leveling up the hero's main talents so as you can see they're at least a 2 of 10 um, <clears throat> that also factors into your might skill so um, when you're able to have a higher level might and uh, pretty much just rack in resources faster it's not going to make or break you to uh, spend a little bit on the extra heroes that you have. Um, and that's pretty much what I've done. I've, I've at least gotten everyone to a 2 of 10 um, on their main talent. And um, still been able to get my main heroes up to a 9 of 10 or somewhere around that nature. Um, I definitely want to focus next on Vlad and Santa Boom. I'm going to be working on them for sure, and then also my Multanica. Um, I just used most of my stuff on my Chieftain. Um, I also bought his inscription up pretty high. Uh, he's my farmer for um, getting my shards and also getting gold and stuff like that. So I just felt like it was necessary for him to get boosted up. But um, yeah, guys, that's just a quick rundown of how I got my might up and how you can do the same now um, inscription is parallel to lost realm if you want to level up your inscription for your character lost realm is the way to go um, leveling up these crystal mines is in this is definitely necessary 
um, to do that. So you'll see my crystal mines are the same level as my Lost Realm. I can't bring them higher level than that until I get to 21. So at least have yours the same level as what you have going on. That way you can uh, save some crystals and, and um, have that available when you want to level up your inscription to your might boosters or your main characters. And that's pretty much what you're going to need to do. Um, what else can we say about this? Um, if you're a pay to play, I would suggest uh, gemming the steps in Lost Realm when you do settle down to do it. Um, but make sure your quest log is always done first and foremost. And a last thing I wanted to go over as far as regarding to might would be um, a quick way to level up some heroes. Like, I just recently got. Um, What's his face? Tree, the tree guy, Root, Tree Antor, whatever you want to call him. I recently just got him and he's already 149 and I didn't spend um, a lot of books on him. I think I used books up until 80 and, or 100, something like that. And then the rest I got through just running Here Be Monsters. Now, and also Warlock, you see he's almost um, 160. And the way I power level them is basically what you see going on here. Um, using Vlad to solo. Now hopefully you guys have a Vlad, obviously. Um, but using Vlad to solo here be monsters and only having three guys out there on the field to split the experience helps out tremendously. Instead of other people absorbing the experience that you don't necessarily want to focus on, um, that's going to also help you level whatever hero is lower to bring up your might faster because uh, your higher level heroes may take too long to gain a new level to uh, make a difference in your might and you want to try and boost that up as fast as possible when you're ready to do so so yeah guys um, that's that uh, what I do want to end this video off is showing you guys a quick update of how I farm the shards farm the shards and like I always say, it's so important to do so, and I will become a broken record <laughs> if I have to, because, yeah, guys, it's just one of those things. I'm drawing a blank now. Who do I use? Aha! Yes, V likes to destroy the buildings. I feel like, oh, Vlad, I don't usually use. I use Santa Boom. So this is my new setup for the 57 Shard Dungeon. Uh, let's see. Boom. Boom. Where are thou? Here. Here. So check it out. Check out the new and improved method. Hopefully I don't fail. I don't usually fail. But this method, pretty much, Warlock's going to shield my Pumpkin Duke who's going off on his own there. And what you see there is Chieftain's proc just pretty much taking everything down. And also Warlock is going to focus on heroes. So you saw how quickly that 57 shard dungeon was. We all know how frustrating the 57 shard dungeon could be, especially when you're starting to lose heroes. Um, one of the big suggestions in this, uh, in this dungeon is to use slowdown. I'm not using slowdown on everyone, but I do use slowdown. Um, on a few people just to get him going and if he's coming in like you just saw I'll uh, shield my heroes and depending on how close he is I mean there you go I, I beat the dungeon before he was even dead so it just pretty much works out pretty well uh, it was definitely worth me investing the resources into Chieftain because he's a big reason why these dungeons are going so smoothly and he'll definitely be a huge factor for when I want to get all the flames in all the dungeons in the future. I really have been slacking on that and here be monsters, so I have to get into that. I just wanted to make my farm a uh, pretty easy, pretty clean process, and I pretty much have. I mean, it's not perfect, perfected yet. Um, there's still some hiccups. There's still some times where I do lose a pumpkin duke or whatever the case may be, but it's a lot less effort this way, especially with Warlock Shield. So this is the team setup that I like to use. Um, the mage, of course, is going to be procking and knocking down buildings, and so is Santa Boom. So just making it all the more easier. Um, test it out, guys. See how it works for you. Hopefully it's as clean as mine. 
Um, depends on what talent level is your main, uh, for your hero's main talent. Um, that also will always help out, so try to level that up and um, see where it takes you. So anyway, uh, that's all for now, guys. that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always there when I need 57 shards. Uh, yes, sir. That's how it gets done. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Give me more shards. Give me more shards. And then there's more shards. Yes, sir. As the donations are good, yeah. He wants to donate, you have to donate. Oh. Oh, it's not torch battle day. No, sir.